So this is your girl Pam with Pam for Christ. Uh, I know it's been a while, y'all. <laughs> um, I would like to give a shout out to um, Deep Entropy. Now you have been on my case about uploading, and I thank you for you know steady reminding me you know to do this, in which you know I am doing it because <laughs> you keep being on my case. But that is a good thing, little brother. That is really a good thing. So I really, really thank thank you for you know, continuing to remind me to do that. So regardless of the situation and what's happening, what's going on, you know, I do need to stay consistent. So as you guys can see, it's been a while. Um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Virtue Within. Um, she pretty much know like what I've been sort of facing and challenging and going through. And like the, every day she sends me encouraging words and that really, really helps. Um, I met her here on YouTube. So the description to her page will be... Um, uh, under the description here but at the same time you know um I just thank God for a person like her because she has been able to you know just really help me and give me that encouraging word you know that I need so she has become a really good friend and I thank you so so much um Virtue for being there for me and for being a friend um like I said it's been a lot happening a lot going on um a good friend of mine passed away so that's been sort of hard because it you know like happened all of a sudden it, it wasn't really expected and I was sort of there with him you know so just knowing that I was there and then you know like an hour and a half later you're gone you know so that sort of hit a little hard and then on top of that there are projects and stuff that I'm trying to get done I did finish um three of my projects that I was working on um so I'm trying to work on now getting that um you know in production so I can say that I am proud to get those three out the way, even though I have more, but I'm just happy that I did get a chance to get that out the way. So that's been taking up a lot of my time as well. Then, of course, life, trials, tribulations, stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, that's just to be expected. You know, you happen to, you know, go through or whatever. But um, basically what I want to talk to you today about was pretty much what I'm having to go through, but without actually saying what I have to go through. But um what it is, people will sometimes use you for what you can do for them while secretly hating you and hating the threat that you pose on them. And the thing about it is it's not the fact that you're posing a threat on them. It's the fact that they're jealous of where you are. They're jealous with um your walk with God. They're jealous with your walk in life. And, you know, they see that you're happy, you know, with what you're going, uh, what you're doing and, you know, uh, they're happy at the fact that you can handle trials and tribulations and tests better than they can. And they're wondering why you're not, you know, depressed or why you're not throwing yourself off a roof somewhere because you're able to handle it. But the thing about it is you have God with you. And when you have God with you, then, yes, you can handle trials and tribulations and tests and stuff like that. And I'm not going to lie. It's been rough. It's been hard. But at the same time, God has been reminding me that at the end of all of this, He's going to get the glory. At the end of all of this, I'm going to be able to get everything that I ever wanted and desired. So for me to have to go through what I'm going through and face what I'm facing is nothing compared to what I'm going to get in the end. It's nothing compared to what I know that God's going to, you know, reward me with for being faithful and for, you know, not giving up and for continuing to pray and know that he's there with me and for me. Because, I mean, when it comes to friends and family members and you know, as far as like finances and it's just a lot of different things, you know, that a person would have to, you know, struggle and go through. And when you come out at the end, you know, you look back like <laughs> that wasn't as bad as I thought. No, because you're out and you're at the end of it. But being in the middle of, you know, having to go through so much, you know, um, as far as like business wise, because I have two different businesses that I own. But at the same time, you know, it's not only me that's struggling as far as like with um, the business and stuff like that, but it's a lot of other people that I know that's in that particular business, those two particular businesses that I'm talking about that's actually going through their, you know, I guess you could say dry season right now, but like I said, that's fine because God already promised me that in the end that it was going to work, but at the same time, you got people that's looking at you while you're going through this, and they're actually upset at the fact that, like I said, you're not pulling your hair out and you're not acting crazy and you're not in the psych ward. No, because I already know the, the promise that God gave me. So I'm just going to have to wait. I'm going to have to stick it out and I'm just going to have to continue to trust and believe that God's going to pull me through. But as for those people that think that I'm a threat to them, no, I'm not a threat to them. You know, that's just your ego. That's just you thinking that I'm a threat because I'm continuing to be, 
you know, happy and praise God through what I'm going through. So what I'm going through, it's for me, but it's still for you too, because you need to see that everyone doesn't act the same way when it comes to uh, tests and trials and tribulations and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I hate the fact that I had to cut off, um, people that I really, really love in order to get through this because God said that they would be a strain on my relationship with him. And then they would be stressful, you know, body wise to me. So even after I have left these people alone, and I'm talking about people that I really love. I'm talking about like friends and family members and stuff like that. I mean, I just felt like a burden lift off of me. I just felt like a weight lifted off of my shoulders. And, you know, me going through this is not the fact that I'm going through by myself because I have people like, you entropy. I have people like, you know, you virtue within this, you know, they're that's able to, you know, give encouraging words and help. And I, even though I have that from a couple of other people too, but not everyone's able to understand, you know, that, that you're going through or, you know, that that's happening unless they are going through it too, or unless they have already went through it. But like I said, I just thank God for, you know, um, people like that, you know, like I said, entropy and, um, virtue and also for you know a couple of other friends that I do have that you know lives in the state of Alabama but they don't live around me you know but they do live you know in the state and they still like I said um do things help you know send encouraging words and stuff like that but um like I said you got people that will use you they they want you to do for them or they can see what it is that you can do for them without trying to return the favor to you or without trying to, you know, see what it is that you're going through so that they can be a friend or they can be a helping hand. You know, people are always trying to take, 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 take. And seems like to me, that's all that I've been getting for, I can say like the past 10 years is people just taking and taking and taking and taking. And then when I finally cut myself off from these people, now all of a sudden I'm the bad guy because I cut myself off. No, baby, I'm not the bad guy. You are because you've been using me the whole entire time. And my thing is, I decided to continue to let you, you know, treat me bad and use me. And I'm trying to overlook the fact that, you know, I'm doing for you and you're not doing for me. But see, the thing about it is the buck stops here. I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't care who you are. Blood kin, best friend. I don't care who you are. The buck stops here. I'm not going to do that anymore. It's time for me to start thinking about me. And now that I'm thinking about me, you want to be mad at me because now I'm thinking about me. You get what I'm saying? But you've been thinking about you the whole entire time and it wasn't a problem. But now all of a sudden it's a problem. You get what I'm saying? So if that's the case, then that lets me know that your heart not right and that you're immature and that you don't need to be in my life anyway. So that's just my little nugget for today. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for, you know, continuing to you know, encourage me and, you know, thank you for continuing to watch, um, like, share and subscribe. I love you guys and peace.